Yo, what's going on people? In this video, I'm going to show you how we can enter user input into an array. Normally, when you create an array, you list the data type followed by the array name, such as scores. We'll create some test scores. Add a set of straight brackets, equals, then within curly braces, you can add some values. For example, I'll just add 100, 90, 80, 70, and 60. That's good enough for now. What if we would like to fill these values in? we would need an empty array, such as this. However, when declaring an array, you do need to set the size, meaning the number of elements that you want. If I'm going to insert five values into this array, I need five elements. You can set the size of an uninitialized array by adding a number between the set of square brackets. Our array contains five elements, which we're going to fill in later. But there's one thing I want to show you. Using a for loop, I'm going to display the elements. We'll need a counter, int i, I'll set that equal to 0. I'll continue while i is less than the size of our array. I'll just put 5 here. But you could calculate the size using the size of function. Then increment i by 1 during each cycle. I'm going to print each element in this loop. We're going to display an integer. Separate each with a space. I'll add a space then print my array of scores at index of i. I've declared an array, but have not initialized it. I haven't assigned any values. Here's what's in it currently when I run it. Well, I get some garbage values. In my array, I have 8, 0, 36, 0, and then negative 1.9 billion or something. These values were left over from a previous program. If I access and use an array, and not assign it any values, it's going to already be filled with garbage, which would lead to unexpected behavior in my program. What I would recommend is that when we declare a fixed size array, we set all the elements to zero by setting them equal to, then within curly braces, zero to clear them out. Now, if I were to run this program, all the elements of my array are zero, which is a lot better than those garbage values. Now, when you partially initialize an array, any unspecified elements are automatically set to zero as well. Setting one of the elements to zero would be the same thing as me typing in a bunch of zeros. Five zeros if there's five elements in this array. But you don't need to do that. C will implicitly do that. We have an array of five values, and we've cleared out all the previous values, just to avoid any unexpected behavior. Now we need to get some user input. Later on, we'll be using a loop. I'll show you how we can add elements one by one. Let's start with a prompt. Let's say printf enter a score colon space. Then I'll use scanf. We're accepting an integer. We need a format specifier of percent %d. Then store this at the address of my array of scores. At index, then pick an index. We'll start with zero. Let's give it a test run. Enter a score. I'll say 90. Here's my array currently. We have 90, 0, 0, 0, 0. We've entered an element at the index of 0, the first element. Let's do this with the others. But don't worry, we'll use a loop later to make it more simple. We're going to enter in five elements. Scores at index 0, scores at index 1, 2, three, four. Let's run this again. Enter a score, I'll say 90, 80, 70, 60, then 50. And here's my array. We have the scores of 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. Now we are repeating ourselves a lot. We can use a loop instead. We need a loop to cycle five times because there's five elements in this array. Let's use a for loop, int i equals 0, continue while i is less than the size of our array, 5. Again, you could use the size of function to automatically calculate that, but that might be overkill for this lesson. I'm trying to keep it simple. We'll continue while i is less than 5, cut our prompt and scan f, paste it within the for loop, but change the index to be i to reflect the current cycle of the loop. 
I is going to change during each cycle. It'll start at 0 and stop at 4. This will do the same thing. And it's a lot less code to write. Enter a score. 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. And here's my array of numbers. We have 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. That's how to enter data into an array. When you use scanf, use the address of operator, list your array, but then you need an index number. Alright everybody, that's how to enter values into an array in C.